Hey guys, I'm going to start uh, just titling my videos uh, Bill's Place, like uh, instead of trying to come up with some sort of heading for whatever I'm doing, um, when it will kind of limit limit me to uh, views for people who like watching my channel, but uh, it just make it easier for me to you know, basically, I'll just title it Bill's Place and then probably the date, kind of like Harvey does. He puts like a time stamp on. Sometimes I might title a video, but um, just make things easier. Uh, what's been going on here? This gas tank went bad. And it's like once a year i got to put this gas tank on here. And uh, I'll show you what, what it happens to it. I mean, you might all see it. Here's the old one. But, uh, yeah. yeah, you might be able to see it right here. It's a crack right there. Pretty much the cracks at any given one of these mounts. And uh, 65 bucks to get another one. So there's one thing about a Chinese bike. Once a year, i got to buy a plastic gas tank. And then, uh, I've been working on something else. Well, here's the uh, LT230 so far. Um, I haven't worked on it this weekend. I actually worked on it a little bit last weekend, putting it together. And then, uh, bought this inverter on eBay. Broke it. Uh, it was, I won it for $30, and the shipping was like 15 so I got like $45 in this inverter, and what was wrong with it was, is, uh, over here, um, sorry I can't show you guys, you know, exactly what was going on, but, basically, I think, uh, this right here is a Harbor Freight, I bought this inverter, supposed to be uh, never used. And they opened it, you know, tatted out of the box and said that it was just, you know, open box, new condition, never been hooked up. Well, you can see, I don't know, you can't see in camera, but you can see where something's been tightened down on here. And, but anyways, the other inverter, I guess I'll cover that one first. Um, this this board has no coating. It doesn't have any kind of enamel on it whatsoever. And this is for the you know the one I just showed you on the wall pertaining to it. Um, all the it, he, the guy I ended up talking to the guy um, that I got it off of eBay from, but he said he had it in a boathouse, and I can tell you from being in. Uh, that building over there, which I'm going to let it kind of adjust to the light, but my old building, it's an old trailer, it's, it's insulated, but it's got some really big doors, a little bit of water comes in on the floor, and in the spring, I noticed, like, everything would just be kind of, just literally wet inside the building, because the humidity was just so high, and probably the same thing happened to that Ames inverter that's on the wall, but all the solder was like, had like growths coming off of it. I mean, it was bad. And then, um, actually a couple spots in it where this, you know, the lamination on here was corroded away. So eventually I might go and like, you know, turn it on and it'll like fuse. Like something will just fuse apart in it and, you know, it'll be junk. But, um, another thing was... Uh, some certain amount of these traces was delaminating from the board. Um, pretty much what I did was is I found like a really light uh, bristled wire brush, I mean really light, and compressed air with the two. I cleaned cleaned the board all up, and uh, let's see, I sprayed I sprayed this on it, clear coat, just like. 
covered the whole board. I kind of, I taped up the uh, you know the side of the heat, of the uh, MOSFETs that he, you know the heat sinks. You know, taped them up so I didn't get you know enamel on them. You know, same with like these ones. And you know, just I plastered the thing with paint, let it sit for a couple days, and you know, it's over there up and running. And so far. So far, I had it up to like 600 watts. That's my normal usage here. Is, you know, 600 watts with that's with all the lights on and you know, a radio playing and stuff. So, but this guy here, you know, like I said, it was it was supposed to be working new condition, and I take it out, hook it up, and I just did a light test. I was going to run like a 20 watt load on it and. Just you know, jumper cables hooked up to here, and it would, nothing. You know, you, you you flip the switch, nothing would happen whatsoever. So I open it up, and there's eight 30 amp fuses in here, and see six of them was completely blowed. A seventh one was like half burnt, and the eighth one was good. So I kind of sit there and I kind of look at it and reminisce, you know. Even though I go to the store and buy some fuses, it's going to be like seven or eight dollars for enough fuses to put in here. And I didn't have these are like the bigger automotive spade fuses. You know, cars haven't really been using them for the past 15 years or so. I really don't have. I had some tens and some sevens and some, you know fifteens or something, but so I just went to the store and got all new fuses and put in here. And now you turn it on, it just beeps, and the heat sinks that was on here, which you got to take them off, as you see here, it like completely overlaps everything to test these. But anyway, just being turned on for like 10 seconds, these would get start getting warm. And I, I was working on this last night at home. I haven't not taken a voltmeter to nothing today yet, but I didn't have a voltmeter at the house. And I, so I took these off and was looking to see if you know, any of these was burnt. Then none of them looks physically burnt. But I get the voltmeter out, test some of these. I don't think any of these are going to be bad. Just just because after I uh, you know, took these heat sinks off, I did like a like a two second test. Right, I hooked it up. You know, it start beeping and turn it off and every one of these every one of them gets warm instantly but they're all pretty consistently warm unless all of them's bad but <laughs> uh, you know it's just a, I don't know just the thought of every one of them seems to be about the same temperature um, I'm thinking what's going on with this is, is there's some uh, smaller transistors down in here that is uh, runs off these control circuits there's two ICs right here and I'm thinking these right here run right after them basically they're kind of like a, a low voltage relay to run the bigger relays you know or you know the bigger MOSFETs so I'm kind of gonna I'm gonna test them test these see if I can find anything wrong with it but I messaged back the person I bought it from um, and told them that it didn't work and they, you know, they came back with, they never had it hooked up, but they bought it new used from somebody else. It's like, I bought it new used from them, and they, they claimed that they never had it hooked up. And I could return it to get my 80 bucks back, but I already paid shipping, so I got $95 in it. And then I got another $7 in them fuses. And well, like pretty much, I've been getting interested in working on some electronics. This guy over here, you know, I made a little video last week about one of these transistors, MOSFETs, is different than the rest. And I ordered all new ones. Uh, probably something this winter I might sit down and solder them in. And I don't know, just depending if it's just one of the, just one of these control. Uh, transistors down here. I might change this one because it might just be easy, easier to 
pretty easy fix, just one transistor to replace. But um, so anyway, I bought you know the Ains went over the wall, broken. Basically, you know, try to find something with some kind of challenge to work on, and uh, they ended up just needing basically cleaned out and sealed. You know, put some kind of enamel on the board. And it, it's working, so that was an easy fix. And granted, as much as I paid for this one, it should be working, but you know, yeah, it's something to work on. And I guess, you know, but this is identical to the other. You know, I got two of them now. They sent the sent the uh, original box. The top box is kind of crappy looking. Is the original, for, you know, the, the second one. But I'm kind of into, my bet is that the manufacturer that built this one by design. I mean, the output board is fastened to the outside case, and the input main board is slides into, slides into the bottom of the case. It's kind of a pain in the butt design, but it runs my CFL lights just fine, and I'm kind of just... I wanted, you know, Harbor Freight and all other manufacturers are constantly changing things, and, you know, I just wanted, you know, given this one runs all my lights, I'm kind of like, well, I want a couple, I want a couple more of them, just, so that way I don't have to do like I did with that Xantrex over there, I bought it to run my garage, and it will not run my lights, maybe the transistor thing may not be. But I'm just looking at it like I won't have to go through trial and error, wasting money, which this right here is kind of a waste if I can't get it working. But I just wanted a couple of them sitting around that I come out, turn one on, and it burns out. It, it, this stuff's cheap, you know. It, it, it'll work fine for so long, and then one day it'll just quit working because it's cheap. But, uh,. The Ames one over there, I say it's the, the same third-party manufacturer made that one and made these Harbor Freights. And then there's also uh, OST Tiger Claws. There's a pure sine wave, and then there's, right now there is a, actually a 3,000 watt, which I don't think is 3,000 watt. I think it's actually just that Ames inverter over there is identical to it in every way except for the outside color of it. And then I would say that that, that OSP tire claw one will not reach 3,000 watts because, okay, this one here says 1,800 on the front, but given that it is a named brand, Ames, it's actually a 2,400 watt. When you open this thing up, everything in there is 2,400 watts. So it can actually go above the 1,800 watts. It's just, but I'm just telling you, you can get that OSP tire call right now um, for $200 free shipping and it's going to be the exact same guy as this. The only thing I would warn you with any inverter with this design which would be another one would be uh, what's the Whistler they, they call them Whistler they sell them at Walmart and online it's the same design it, everything in it is it's the same blueprint of you know how it's made. Um, you can tell just by looking at the components that it's the same crap. Um, the the Whistlers are overrated for what they say from what I've seen with other guys' reviews. And uh, usually they name brands. They could be the exact same technology, but they usually kind of underrate them from what I've seen. But, alright, well, I guess I'll let you guys go, and, uh, uh, I guess, I guess I'm going to add a little bit more to this video. I have made some updates to the solar thing. I got two more batteries. Um, those are deep cycles. They're group 27 deep cycles. They weigh, like, 65, 70 pounds. And I really don't like how I got a mixture going here, but it's just the way it is what I started with and you know later on down the road when you know, these batteries go all go to crap I guess I can just go get 
all new, but, you know, it's kind of pricey to buy this kind of stuff, so it's kind of hard to have all brand new batteries and all the same type and, you know, but it's just what I got. And then also, I did put fuses, they're just automotive fuses, and, but, so I had, do have each, each battery now has a fuse, I still got one battery to hook up, but each battery has a fuse, and then also, ever since I put the fuses in, I was having voltage drop problems on, on the inverter, so I, that's when I thought about getting just two more batteries, because I wanted more capacity anyway, and the solar panels seem to be able to charge them with ease. And then there's two of these switches now for the input. All they are is just two two runs parallel into the inverter. So when you turn it on, you got to turn one will turn it on, but you got to turn both of them on. So now it's double ran. You know, there's a four gauge and an eight gauge running into the inverter. So now it has you know more available not more, more available amperage, but less resistance to get into it. So, alright, well, I'll let you guys go. Catch you later.